Hello and welcome back to some more F1 2020 and part 27 of my My Team Career Mode with Jordan GP. Today we have the Dutch Grand Prix. Obviously we have amazing memories from last season. If you didn't see uh, episode 5 of, of last year, make sure you go and check it out. It was probably the best episode of season 1. It was so special. Uh, we qualified second on the grid due to changeable conditions and uh, well hopefully we'll have more of the same today although uh, the pace again hasn't been there which is such a shame because uh, the vehicle performance uh, comparison shows we should be comfortably uh, getting through to Q3 but I, I guess we'll just see in qualifying. Uh, since the last episode we had an uh, interview with Will Buxton and uh, I'll show you that in just a minute but um, we have got some uh, resource points to throw into the car so I think we, we probably want to do that now so I want to do something uh, with the, the aero package I think that one is looking very good that front wing end plates for, for downforce uh, we also have the rear wing uh, end plates as well uh, it, it's tough to decide which one to go for I guess but um, I suppose front wing we want a bit more a bit more turning a bit more stability when we're turning in so at the Spanish Grand Prix um, is the next Grand Prix if we get this done it will be done in time for the Monaco Grand Prix which is obviously a place where you do need uh, a, a good downforce setup so uh, there you go that's that one and you can see with the current upgrades, if, if nobody else moves, we would actually become, in theory, the second quickest team. But uh, we'll believe that when we see it, I suppose. But now I'm going to show you uh, the, the interview with Will Buxton and uh, then we'll get into qualifying. Here we are in the HQ of our newest Formula One team. We've got an awful lot to talk about, so let's jump straight in. You seem to be stuck in the mid-tier at the moment. Are you happy here, or will you be aiming to challenge the top teams in the near future? Would you say that it's important to develop your drivers as much as possible? Would it be safe to say that, in terms of team orders, your career comes first in your team? Well, it's been wonderful to spend some time with you. Best of luck out on track. Here we come round the oval then for the end of this flying lap. We come over the line there to 111.2, which puts us second at the moment, just behind Daniel Ricciardo. I think we can probably get a little bit more out of the car than what we just did, but uh, I was pretty pleased with that lap as a as a banker uh, at the very least. And uh, Perez has gone quickest for the moment, so. Maybe looking a little bit better if we're sandwiching the Renault. Well, here we come up to the line. You can see we're about three tenths up. And we might need those tenths as we come up to the line and we go eighth. So that's probably our best qualifying performance of the season. Uh, we've got through to Q2 and uh, looking strong at the moment. It'll be interesting to see where Perez is in relation to that. Uh, he is uh, a couple of tenths behind us in uh, 11th position so I think we'll we'll take that um, just ahead of uh, Danny Kvyat in the, the Alpha Tauri as well I think there is a, a smidge more time in it uh, it's going to be touch and go whether we get through to Q3 but uh, at least the hope is there 
Well, coming up to the line, it's a 1108, so another 10th improvement there. About 10 to 15 minutes from now. And that puts us fourth place at the moment, and crucially, ahead of a lot of the guys uh, that you would maybe expect to be our challengers for Q3, Ricardo, Stroll, etc. Just behind the Red Bulls, I'm quite happy with that. There is a fault to the DRS. Well, we're coming up to the line. We haven't got DRS. Stay out. But we're coming up to the line, and that's sixth place for the moment. Very happy with that. That should be enough to get through, but uh, very annoying that we've had a DRS fault here. It is starting to rain as well, which is something to bear in mind. Maybe Q3 could be a smash and grab session. We're down to ninth now. This could be pretty close. Leclerc is currently on the cusp of going out. Checkered flag has been wa waved here. The stopping goes quickest. But the rain coming down, surely this track is just going to get slower and slower. I can already feel it's getting slippier. Yeah. Look after the tyres as much as possible, come up to the line, and I think we're through. We are ninth place, so Leclerc out in Q2, that's going to be the big shock. Uh, Sergio Perez, by the way, put in an amazing lap in this Q2 session, a 1-10-3, which puts him uh, good enough for fourth place, we're three tenths behind in ninth. But both cars through to Q3 for the first time this season, and I think that's uh, you know very representative of our pace. Both racing points out, Ocon out in the Renault, uh, Gasly and Schumacher out as well. But the big shock, Charles Leclerc, who tried to get through on the mediums, has gone out in Q2. Well, as you can see, guys, the weather forecast for Q3 is showing a dry track in 10 minutes so I'm gonna actually wait my turn and wait till the very last moment and put the slick tires on I think that's gonna be the best decision for us um, it's gonna be very risky don't get me wrong but uh, I think I think it's gonna be the right decision if we leave it to the very last moment to get out there on these uh, soft tyres, we'll see how it goes. You can see it's pretty much dry. This could be an inspired decision. Well, one thing going for us, we were the last man over the line. We're setting purple sectors at the moment. This, I think, could prove to be our first pole position here. Once again, round Zanvo making the right tyre call at the right time. And here we come, round the final corner. We come up to the line, what's it going to be? Are we going to take pole position as we come up to the line? I think we do. Oh, no we don't. I thought, we, I thought we'd went up much higher than sixth there. But, uh... Well, With there qualifying you go. finished, it's time to remind ourselves of our top three. Hamilton, Verstappen and Valtteri Bottas. With qualifying wrapped up, we now have our grid lineup for the big race tomorrow. Be sure to oh. join us then for what will no doubt be a fantastic race. I find it impossible that they set one minute tens. And I think that there is a glitch in uh, in this game, like I was the last man over the line, there was no way anybody could improve uh, on my time. Um, you know, there's no way we were 5.1 seconds off the pace. I don't know where that's come from, but hey ho, we'll uh, you know take sick. We would have definitely snapped your hand off for sixth at the start of the session. Um, I mean, you can see signs and Ricardo on the soft tyres, much slower times, and I, I believe that those are genuine. Uh, those top five times impossible to reach in those conditions but uh, 
Perez made the wrong call at the end. Uh, it was touch and go whether it was intermediate or soft. But uh, he went intermediate to, to try and roll the dice. And uh, he only qualifies ninth. But again, I think he'd have took that. So let's see how we get on in the race. David Croft and Anthony Davidson will take you through it. For years, the passionate Dutch fans have been easy to find trackside at races across Europe and throughout the world. Now, at long last, they have a Grand Prix to call their own. It's a warm welcome once again to all of our viewers in the Netherlands and around the globe as we get underway for the Dutch Grand Prix. A lap of this short 2.6 mile Zandvoort circuit features 14 corners, 10 to the right and four to the left. The main straight is 678 meters long and heads into turn one, the Tarzan corner. With DRS down the main straight into the braking zone, that could be the best overtaking opportunity on the track. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. An immense lap from Lewis Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position, and Max Verstappen lines up alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Bottas, Albon, Sebastian Vettel, the captain, Sainz, Ricardo, Perez, and Daniel Kvyat, Leclerc, Stroll, Kimi Raikkonen, and Ocon, Gasly, Schumacher, Nicholas Latifi, and Roman Grosjean, Russell, Magnussen, Norris, and Antonio Giovinazzi starts from the back of the grid. Now, it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. Well, best qualifying of the season for us, up in sixth place. I think we can be really, really pleased with that, and uh, hopefully we'll see uh, a, a good, strong uh, race pace today. So let's get into it. Um... Bottas on the medium tyres, he's somebody to target off the start. Um, right, let's get the car up to temperature on this lap. We're learning the gears, so go through them all if you can. It's going to be very tough. Obviously, we led this race last year for the first couple of laps. Had to jump in for Stappen into turn one. But, um, We'll have to see how that goes today. Not sure we're going to quite have the pace to do it. We'll try our absolute best. As always. Conditions look stable at the moment. No rain currently expected. We'll see. Starting on these media, uh, soft tyres, sorry. We'll, um, we'll give us an interesting strategy dilemma of when to come into the pits it's whether we look after them and don't push too hard and try and make them go that little bit longer or whether we just take everything out of them early and try and get the undercut on the medium tyres it's all going to be very interesting we've got signs behind us we seem to be having big battles with him this year Ricardo behind him as well and obviously Perez, our teammate, will be looking to score some points. But uh, we shall see how it all goes. I don't think we're going to be competing with the top five today. I think they'll dance off into the sunset. But hopefully we can ruffle a few feathers and maybe get down the inside of one or two of them into turn one. So here we come, lining up on the grid. Hamilton on pole, Verstappen in second, Bottas third, Albon fourth, Vettel fifth, we're sixth. Signed seventh, Ricardo eighth, uh, right. Perez ninth, and as soon as the grid has formed, be ready with the clutch. tenth place. Leclerc starts eleventh. It'll be interesting to see what compound he starts on. The two racing points behind him. Ocon is behind him, but here we are, ready for the lights. Lights out, away we go here in Zandvoort. It's a very good start off the line, and we have got Vettel down the inside here, and wow. We've managed to get past Albon and Bottas as well. We just had to sort of go for that because the, the, the door opened up. They locked up on the outside and we went for it and we're up into third place. So again, a fantastic start here in Holland. And uh, wow, Max Verstappen, the home favourite up ahead. 
can we stick with him this year or will he dance off into the sunset like he did last year this time he's got a very racy Lewis Hamilton ahead of him so it's going to be tough for him to win his home Grand Prix but I'm sure he will give everything he can to try and do just that but uh, we're third after the first couple of sectors of this race and uh, couldn't have expected any better a lot more well, grit through that like corner than we start. expected what's happened to Hamilton Hamilton's gone a little bit wide looking for Stappen right up in the gearbox of Lewis Hamilton now I don't know what happened to Hamilton there looked like he just maybe uh, got a bit of oversteer as he came through that corner but Verstappen now looking very very racy and we're actually catching up to the front two here could there be an incident between Verstappen and Hamilton that allows us to take the lead of this Grand Prix While you join me on fi lap 5 of this Grand Prix, we're still ahead of Albon, dropped to three and a half seconds behind Verstappen now, which is kind of what we expected, to be honest, to be around about half a second to a second off uh, the likes of Verstappen and Hamilton ahead. Uh, but we're managing to place our car really strategically so that these guys can't get through that are directly behind us and uh, that's why I said I said we could ruffle some feathers if we get ahead it's very difficult to overtake around here so you know we keep getting a, a decent exit onto this uh, final corner this time Albon is a little bit closer but I still don't think he's going to be able to overtake us and just lose us too much out of that final corner and gap to teammate behind really is 2.4 seconds the only place that you can overtake is on that straight so things are looking good here it's all going to be about the the pit stop phase and whether Albon decides to go a lap early to try and undercut us I'm wondering whether we should do the same I think lap 8 is our pit stop window so maybe come in next lap okay so we're coming into the pits on this lap then coming in a lap early to try and fend off the undercut and I think that was the perfect pit entry so hopefully we'll get some clean air here we'll be able to push hard Complete. Go now. Way. Not the okay, quickest pit stop in the world. The we'll receive a penalty for dangerous driving if you cross over into the track. We need to get out in front of whoever this is. Giovinazzi. So we do have some clean air, clean air, and I think that could prove crucial. To be honest with you, if we can push hard on these medium tyres, we could come out ahead of Albon. It's all going to be very close, though. A couple of people in You've the pit lane. You've taken P19. That's Vettel, so we've come out well ahead of him. I find it interesting that Albon has just refused to come in that lap. He's got to try and think of a different strategy to get past us because surely the undercut is going to work here. The only way I don't see it working is if we get caught behind Magnussen and Russell up ahead, which I suppose could happen. But with how far ahead of Vettel we we, we got, has boxed for the mediums. Car behind on the medium tire. I think it's very difficult to see. It's not coming out in front of Albon, so I think we've called it well. We're obviously going to struggle right at the end of the race but uh, I think track position is king round here Sergio is in the pits so here we come lots of cars in the pit lane that's Bottas and yeah I think we have come out well ahead 
of uh, Albon, which is of course who we were fighting. And so has Vettel. Vettel has jumped uh, Bottas and Albon, so it was a great decision. Obviously Bottas has swapped onto the, the soft tyres. Now what will be interesting is, do, they, do those soft tyres last all the way? Or is he going to start struggling right at the end of this Grand Prix? So there you go then. Everybody has pitted now and we're back into third position. Vettel is the car behind us. I feel confident of keeping him behind, just like we kept Albon behind before. Bottas is the one I'm worried about, so we need to make sure Bottas doesn't get past Vettel. But uh, very, very strong race pace so far. Really impressed with the car. And uh, this is exactly what I've been expecting since the update. There goes Vettel, though. Having a look round the outside. He place back. He's on the inside, but we hold our position. And unfortunately for us, Bottas has managed to make it past Vettel. So this is a huge, huge moment in this Grand Prix. We've hit the grass a little bit there, bottling it. There goes Bottas, and we can't do anything about it. We cannot do anything about that. Bottas on the soft tyres. Much quicker car. There's just no way that we're going to be able to hold him back. So that's a shame. It has to be said. Well, five laps to go and we're just about holding off the challenge from Vettel. Interestingly, Sergio Perez is the one right behind him. So... If Perez can get past, this could be a huge haul of points for the team. It should be absolutely amazing if we could pull it off. But uh, it's all going to be about us holding our position and hopefully Perez getting past Vettel. But uh, looks like there's some yellow flags. Don't know if that's possibly going to cause a safety car. Somebody's out of the Grand Prix. Didn't quite catch who that was but uh, doesn't affect the running order for now. This is your well, coming on to the final lap race. of the Grand Prix then. We're still in fourth position. Perez and uh, Vettel are battling it out behind for fifth and sixth at the moment. But uh, I think we've got it covered. Unless we make a big mistake, I don't see how either of them are going to pass us. We seem to get an excellent exit out of the final corner, just like uh, with Albon earlier in the race. They can't seem to get close through there. And Certainly through the first sector this weekend, we've been pretty much the quickest, so I think that's something to be really proud of, actually, and we're going to get our best result of the season so far. We're going to beat Sergio Perez in both qualifying and the race, which, <laughs> you know, speaks volumes for how well we've performed this weekend. Lewis Hamilton wins another Grand Prix. He's won the Dutch Grand Prix ahead of Max Verstappen in second. Bottas finishes third with the fastest lap of the race. We're going to come up to the line. We're going to finish an excellent fourth in the end. What a brilliant bulk of points for us. And uh, we should be back into the top ten of the championship. another historic win under their belts well done to the team at Mercedes Anthony Davidson a resounding victory today what set them apart from the rest well I honestly feel it was down to the driver and car today I mean we can talk driver skill all day but if you don't have a solid team to back that you're never going to get anywhere when you hit that sweet spot of having both an excellent driver and an incredible car that's when you see results like those we witnessed today so after a magnificent race, we can now see the drivers making their way to the podium. Once again, it's the Silver Arrows who take top spot. A well-earned victory for Mercedes.
Let's have a look then at the driver's standings. It's a great result for Lewis Hamilton, who moves further ahead at the top of the table. So, Anthony Davidson, who would you rank as your driver of the day? I have to give it to the captain. That was a commanding performance today. Very impressive indeed. It's time to check out the constructors' standings. Mercedes continue to extend their lead. Well, Ant, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one. Well, what a race, and uh, well, <laughs> we get driver of the day. But you can see our pace was, uh, was pretty good in the end, uh, I think representative of where we finished really alexander albon finishes 12th i don't know what happened to him in the pit stops i think he just got really badly held up but uh you can see i mean from us down to 14 it's only four seconds so we very much were the trolley train at that point uh, vettel finishes in fifth with perez sixth ricardo seventh signs eighth stroll ninth and caveat in tenth as you can see we're up to ninth in the driver's standings four points behind sergio perez still in fifth in the constructor so but what a grand prix a big bulk of points for the jordan team and hopefully we can continue that form next time out in spain if you've enjoyed that make sure you hit the thumbs up button down below really does help out means a lot to me as well subscribe to the channel for daily f1 2020 content and i hope you guys are having a wonderful day thanks for watching and goodbye